Okay, what kind of room has no door and no windows? A mushroom. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is easy vegan cream of mushroom soup. We start by dry sauteing some onions. So just chop them up, put them in your big soup pot, put them on about medium high and start to saute them just for a little bit while we're preparing the other things. Smash the garlic so you can get the peelings off really well and then just chop up the garlic into very, very small pieces like this or use a grater or a garlic press. Add your mushrooms to the pot and cook that with the onions. The mushrooms will give off water, so you won't need to add any water. Then make a hole in the center and add your garlic right into the hole so it can cook in that water in there. Get that till it's fragrant, about a minute of cooking, and then just mix it into everything. Continue to cook all that down. Once it's cooked down, this is the point where you're going to add your water or your vegetable stock. Since I chose water, I'm gonna add my low sodium vegetable soup base here. Now time for the coconut milk. Sometimes it can be chunky, so I just put it in my blender, get it real smooth. Then I'm gonna add the rest of my soup to the blender and blend that to the consistency that you like for mushroom soup. Hold on, blooper in three, two, one. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> don't do what I did at the end. Just blend your soup to the desired consistency like a normal person without getting it all over your kitchen. So this soup is really great because it's super healthy. It gets in two of the G-bombs, the onions and the mushrooms, which are super important for our immunity. If you feel like it might be a little bit bland for you, I have a suggestion. You can eat it alongside a very flavorful salad. That way you can have a bite of the salad, then have some of the soup and just sort of go back and forth a few bites of this, a few bites of that. And that really helps to mix it up for your taste buds so it appreciates the flavors more. And every time you have a bite of that mushroom soup, it goes, <gasps> mushrooms! I do that a lot when I find that one dish maybe isn't as salty as I'd like it to be. But if you would like to add salt, just add it at the end when you're ready to serve it so you'll use less salt in that case. So give this soup a try. Let me know what you think down in the comments. As always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can get a free healthy recipes cookbook on my website. There's a link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!